Hey, this is Eric from Catching Light. Hey, this is Hemp. Hey, this is Glenn. Hi, I'm Steve-O. Hey, this is Drew Hines with Hindsight Imagery. This is Matt Callahan at Digimati Photographic Services. Hey, this is Jason, and welcome to Tales from the Pit. Hello and welcome to Tales from the Pit, the series that takes you backstage with some of New Hampshire's best concert photographers. On this episode, you'll hear about some of the craziest shows our crew has had the privilege to be a part of. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy as we bring you Tales from the Pit. Up first to give his epic account of one of the coolest concerts around Pretty Lights is Glenn Fritchie of Glenn Fritchie Photography down in Southern New Hampshire. Well, guys, this Pretty Light show is based upon the fans that were there. As you can see from this image here, it was just a crazy, crazy time. It was very unexpected on, I think, all of us that were there. Um, these five guys were characters. They posed actually a couple of times for me. Um, of course, the music was unbelievable, but the people that were at this show was unbelievable. There was tents everywhere. It almost reminded me of Woodstock back in the day, um, totally unexpected. I took it, I looked at the name when we did the draft and I said, why not, I'll take it, I know nothing about it. And it was a great time, I think it was a two day event, if I'm, mistake, if I'm not mistaken, Steve. Um, so yeah, this is just one of many characters that were at this concert, it was a lot of fun. And this gentleman, he couldn't get enough of the camera. Obviously, you can see by his pretty little hat that he had on. Uh, that's a flamingo, guys, by the way. Not a bear, not a monkey. That's a flamingo. This guy was really cool. It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of, like, as you can see, this guy as well. They came in all kinds of drab and, and uh, costumes. It was just, uh, and it was, like I said, hippie. It was great. It was a good time. Very good time. And the fans were extremely friendly. Um, as a matter of fact, um, we got comments from these, uh, a lot of the ushers that clean up the venue afterwards. These folks actually helped clean up the venue, which was a huge help. And unexpected again by everybody. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of, you know, happy faces. This one was kind of a mistake. I, it was like a three second exposure and I just kind of like moved my camera around trying to grab whatever I could and, this is what I got. It was, I think that was a hula hoop with some lights in it. From That's awesome. Dude, I love that. That's cool. That is super yeah. cool. Which, which artist was this again? What show was this? Pretty Lights. Pretty Lights? And what uh, tech, was this? It was techno. Um, I think 2017. Uh, 2017, yep. Yeah, uh, September 2017. Um, not sure how many opening acts they had, but it was all techno and it was incredible. And that was all weekend long? I believe so. That was a two-day event, Steve, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Nice. Two yeah, days. it was two days. Awesome. Yeah. That's cool. And that, and I assume that was like a super crazy crowd? Yeah, very, very friendly, very free-spirited, um, off the wall. It was just a really, really good time help had by everybody, including, you know, employees and fans. It reminds me of like Burning that. Man. Yeah, 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 now that you mention it. I'm going to hand it over to Steve because I believe Steve was with me all weekend on this show and we both had an incredible time. Steve can tell us more about this image. Thanks, buddy. The, uh, the, just like you said, the, this was a, a real people-watching show. The only thing I can compare it to that was at the venue was probably uh, further. I don't remember what year further was in there. It was maybe, maybe the same summer. Uh, but if, this was close to that. This was certainly the uh, two-day festival that was like nothing I've shot before, and it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, just people watching. You know, this 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 particular gal was down front dancing to one of the openers, uh, and then we got later on in the evening 
uh, Jay, you can switch over to one of the uh, stage shots if you want here. Uh, we got later on in the evening, and you know it got darker, and the the bands had more laser beams and and lights and things of that nature. And this was one of those shows that we had kind of freedom to to run around and, and shoot a lot of stuff all night, and there was a lot of stuff to shoot. But my craziest story is definitely the one where you uh, you see the the folks as a, a spot. Jason will put it up here for you to see. Uh, there's a young man up on the lawn, and he's just kind of enthralled with what's going on in front of him. There's a young lady, and she's spinning these uh, like LED ropes around. And it just was really neat to see, you know, this guy's just kind of, whoa, dude, look at that. And she's got these ropes going, and this went on for a while. And I got four or five shots, but this is this was clearly the best one of the bunch. And what's really fun about this to me was not so much this particular moment, which is really cool, was the next day uh, I'm talking to uh, the security guys, the yellow shirts that were up on the lawn that night. And this particular gal had uh, done these very intricate uh, yoga pants that she had on that were uh, very form-fitting. And as it turns out, unbeknownst to me, she wasn't wearing pants. They were uh, painted on pants. She was charging these guys 20 bucks to sit there and she'd spin these lights and they would look at her for five minutes. So that was pretty amazing. That's a pretty memorable show. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. She was charging people to watch her while at a show? That's what they told me. I didn't, That's amazing. I didn't see it. Okay? I didn't know what went on. I just know that this kid did, sat there Indian style with that same dopey look on his face as he did the whole time she's spinning those lights around. And it was neat to watch. Is that you know, the night you cool asked to all... borrow 20 bucks from me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so what did you use? What's the exposure going on in this shot? Uh, I'd have to look it up. Give me a second and I'll see if I can get to that for you. Uh, a... I want to say it was like probably two seconds. Yeah. That's yeah, I'd say two um, or three seconds. Yeah. Yeah, give me a minute and I'll see if I can get to it. It depends yeah. on how fast she was spinning the lights around. It could be like a, a shorter exposure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, because at two seconds, that guy was sitting really still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, um, makes, it makes me want to put on 3D glasses. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it is cool. That's awesome. And that was what, yeah, 2017, awesome. you said? 2017, 2017 yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. Rumor That's has cool. it the guy hasn't stopped he hasn't stopped looking. <laughs> He's there. <laughs> He's still, still there to this day. <laughs> I, you know, the funny thing was, is that, you know, one of the yellow shirts, Mike, kind of leaned into me and said, Steve, you know she didn't have any pants on, right? I'm like, huh. no, she had these, like, indie, this, like, tribal design on her, time, on her legs, and it was really intricate and all that. He's like, yeah, no, dude, that, that was, <laughs> that was like, uh, funny thing. what do you call it? Um, like, it, it was painted? What are you talking about? Right? Oh, yeah, no, that's what it was. Yeah, I don't have those settings now, but it, <laughs> was, cool. it cool. was probably a couple seconds. That's awesome. That's a killer. It was, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to send it on over to Jason. He's going to talk about the other Jason that comes over to Meadowbrook every once in a while and how smoking hot and muggy it was that particular night. Yeah, indeed. So this is uh, Jason Aldean. This was probably my third show of 2019 summer. Uh, and I so I – primarily do um you know rock stuff so i've never really been exposed to a lot of country uh live shows so this was my sort of first big country show and jason aldean it was jason aldean kane brown and uh carly pierce and both jason aldean has like a number one selling album at the time kane brown is brand new and he's like the hottest newcomer to country music so they're both super duper hot right now um that being said, it's also super hot out. It was like 101. It's like one of the hottest days of the year. And we're all out there working and sweating like crazy. And man, it was so hot. But it was sold out for two full days and the tailgating started early. And because it was so hot, everyone was drinking heavily. So I didn't know what to expect. So we, I'm, we're just out there shooting photos and stuff like that, doing our job, walking around. And when the show comes on, we take shots up during the show and stuff like that. And I got to say the it was, you know, I'm a metal guy. I'm a rock guy. There's not a lot of great looking crowd members to you really look at, you know, but uh, when you, when you put country music out there and, and some of these hot artists, man, the, the crowd is much easier to look at. 
and it was so hot and the clothing was so small <laughs> and it was everyone was sweating and drinking all day. And the next thing you know, they're out there with the hose. The crowd is so overheated that they're out there with the hose just laying it out to the whole front row. And uh, it was just, uh, it's one of those things where you're warned at the beginning that you're going to see a lot of things you don't expect and you're going to see crowds that you don't expect. So don't make any attention to it. Just do your job and go about your day. And this was one of those days. And I got to say, after we're doing our editing, so after we're done shooting, we're up in the, our loft doing our editing and you can see out through the court to the stage and there's just a line of cops with people handcuffed behind them, totally drunk, being taken out. And there's just a line and it's all women. And I was like, holy cow, this is the complete opposite of what I know from a rock show. It's the complete opposite of what I've experienced every time before. So for me, this was such a crazy show. I did not expect what was going down. I did not expect how things were going to turn out. It was just really crazy, really fun. Uh, and now I know how the country folks really party. <laughs> you know, well, I like to shoot those country shows. That's a pretty cool shot. I've never seen that. I got to say that is a first. I actually, I actually dug it out today. I, I actually remember during the draft, um, Jason, you, you inquired about like, if I was going to pick a country show, yeah. what should I pick? And I think Steve told you, all right, get that, get the Jason Aldean. I think I remember right. him like you and you in pick, pick him. Like, yeah. You then, guys, you guys were, cause I, when we did draft and we'll talk about draft on a whole nother episode, but when we did draft, I had no clue other than the bands I knew of. I had no clue beyond that, what to expect. And you guys said, this one's really good. This one's okay. This one's kind of, you know, so-and-so. Uh, and this was one of the ones you guys highly recommend. And sure enough, mm -hmm. man, that was like one of the craziest shows I've ever been to. <laughs> no doubt. That was a fun one. Yeah, I definitely, you know, when we sit down at draft night and again, you said, we'll, we'll talk about that on another episode. I definitely love to pick those big, huge country shows for the very reasons that you rattled off. It's just, it's a huge party. It is all day long, all day and night. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Next is uh, our buddy hemp and he's got some crazy stories about this one here. Dave Matthews hemp. what do you got? What's going on with this one? Tell me all about it. Well, this was actually my very first concert. Um, and this is my, on my bucket list. We'll get to that one too. In another episode. Um, I'd always wanted to shoot him and, I got the, um, I thought front of the house pass, which is uh, not in the pit, which I found out afterwards. Um, but I, Oh, you rule breaker, you. Yes, that, that would be me. Steve taught me the first day what to do. Um, what not to do. That's such <laughs> yeah, and whose idea was it to name the soundboard the front of the house? That yes, was, the, that was right. the first mistake. Anyway. The new guy comes in, the front of the house seems like <laughs> the front of the stage. So that's where I was off to the side. But um, yeah, it, that was just a wild night. I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. They just said, shoot pictures. So I started shooting. I, got, I think I took about 2,000 shots for the three songs we were allowed. Um, I just kept rattling them off. So, um, but th that was a rocking crowd too. They, the place was packed and I could barely move. I didn't know where I was supposed to be. I was almost standing on the back of somebody's seat. Somebody was actually holding my knees while I was standing up until <laughs> the yellow shirts came and told me to get down. Um, so, um, then the, uh, next one was when they moved me to the back, the front of the house, the, the second picture, they, they yeah, um, I was up by the soundboard on that one. Um, they, somebody finally told me uh, where I could stand. So, but that was an exciting night. That I got hooked from that day forward. So, was it cool? Yeah, Dave Matthews always has such a hardcore crowd too. Oh God, yeah. yeah it's a lie, buddy. I love that rocking. first shot. Can you go back to that first one? Yeah. Yeah. That's just, that's, that's great, but that's iconic. Mm -hmm. It is. That's such a classic rock classic. Dave Matthews. Yeah. yeah, for sure. That's a great yeah, job. That's my favorite. Yeah. You got a what fan finger. Again? I, see, I see the fan finger in the foreground. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what year was this? 
2018. Awesome. And our next photographer is a longtime photographer at the venue, Eric Messier. Hey, thanks, Hemp. Appreciate it, man. Uh, so tonight we wanted to talk about our craziest shows and experiences. And I got to say that uh, I, shot, I shot Rob Thomas with Steve-O, and uh, I'm sure we'll hear from him a little bit too. But it's very – we, we kind of get into a swing of shows – um, and they're good. They're really good. A lot of them are very exciting, but it's, it, it's every now and then that one just kind of, to me, takes it to an entirely another, a new level. Um, before Rob Thomas, I would, I would say that it's probably Paramore, uh, for that same kind of feeling. Um, but I, I, I gotta say, truthfully, I had pretty low expectations going into the night. Um, you know, I remember Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20 and I didn't really know what to expect. I haven't really heard much from him, you know, since, since that time period. Um, but I got to say, he came on stage and just absolutely killed the entire thing. I, I left that place probably the happiest that I've been in a long time. Uh, it was one of the most fun shows that I've ever had the experience to shoot. Uh, the, the energy in that stadium that he brought to, to, the, uh, to the whole stage was just absolutely mind-blowing. Um, I mean, this, this shot here that you're seeing, you know, it kind of speaks a little bit to it. Uh, he just got the entire crowd engaged and involved. And there was like a whole jazz band. And it just was, I don't know, there's, I still run out of words. It was just so much fun. Um, and, and one of the craziest experiences that I've, you know, got to be a part of so far. Uh, he just absolutely, absolutely killed it. Uh, Steve, what do you remember from that night, man? You know, it's like we talked about one of the one of the the other ones, and I want to say it was Jason was talking about it, the editing. I remember editing upstairs and 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 putting it on the television and and uh, you know the the closed circuit thing and and being enthralled with the musicianship. Uh, you know, he had a whole section there where he he did this jam section that was would have put Dave Matthews or the Grateful Dead or any of these other jam bands. To shame it was just phenomenal um i remember thinking this is not at all what i expected this was this was a great show it was certainly the highlight of the year for me that particular year uh if i could talk about this particular image that's on the screen right now dude that's freaking great that's phenomenal yeah it's a killer <laughs> shot yeah, i'm kind of bummed i was supposed to actually shoot that show but i had to bail out i don't i forget who took my spot but good work eric nice job Hey, thanks, guys. Up next, we have Drew Hines with Hindsight Imagery to talk about his COVID-19 show that he shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Eric. Um, and by COVID-19, I think you meant 21 Pilots. But um, yeah, here's the uh, lead singer. I can't even remember his name. Let me uh, look it up real quick here. Nick Thomas. Um, so this is, a, I actually picked two shows that I wanted to share stories about, um, and they were both in my first year at the, at the venue. Um, and this band I'd actually never heard of um, back in 2016. And um, so I looked them up, I saw they had a ton of followers and there was a quick YouTube video about how, you know, their, what type their show was. I was like, this could be visually pretty cool. Um, so I think Steve was there with me. We got the three songs down in the barrier. And it was the worst lighting I'd ever, ever seen. It, all backlighting. They were wearing masks. Um, so, um, but it was pretty cool. The, the performance was really rad. There was uh, one point at the third song, last song of the set, um, or at least while we could be up there, um, Nick, he went onto the, onto the piano and um, at, at the lights went dark when he finished. And then we turned around and he was up on like a, 30 foot pole out in the middle of the crowd. Um, so it was obviously a little, little trick, little trick he played on us, but we, we did have the heads up. Um, so that was, that was kind of a cool surprise. Um, but yeah, technically this was, this was a hard, hard show to shoot, but it turned out pretty rad uh, visually. That's, that's a killer shot. Uh, I, I shot that shot, oh, that show, I'm sorry, with you. Mm -hmm. And I I can't tell you that any of the shots that I've got up there I want to share as a best of 
Uh, the experience of, of being there with, with the kids that were at that show and, and all that was a lot of fun. Uh, and musically, it was a different experience. But I remember afterwards being extremely disappointed with what I got for work on that. And I look at this image, you've got good capture of the color, you got nice backlight, you got nice rim lighting there with that side light. And it just, that's a great shot. And, and I know how challenging that show was. That was, that was a hard show to shoot. Yeah, yeah. say for bad lighting, that's, that's really that's awesome. good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, really cool. And it was um there was some other things where the drummer went out on like a piece of plywood right out on the, the the crowd held the piece of plywood up over their heads and the drummer put his whole kit out on it and and played played on top of the crowd. There was oh, one really? point yeah where the where the lead singer went out in one of those giant inflatable bubbles and people passed them around. Um this oh, was okay. after we were done shooting but uh, it was it was a really cool really cool. Yeah, thing. a lot of kids that my my daughter went to school with posted uh video on you know they're all doing their snap stories and they got video of that stuff and that's one of those other things that's it's kind of hard for us to wrap our head around when you know yeah. we're not allowed to shoot that stuff and these kids are just sharing it all right. over social media and having a ball doing it yeah and um i did do some research on these shows and every single concert photo photo from from this tour is all the same i think that's the way they planned it yeah. backlit masks on their face everybody gets the same photos they do the same thing every three songs so um yeah so every every photo is the same from it's that by design tour. yep yeah exactly yeah so this is a uh, shot from the pretty light show which was previously mentioned by glenn and steve and this um it went through we're talking about, I'm going to mention draft night again, but it went through the entire draft without anybody picking it. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, the night came up, they needed a photographer. They, they asked me if I wanted to do it. And I reluctantly said, ah, okay. And when I pulled up, I remember pulling up to the show and there was a line of cars. I had to wait maybe an hour to get in. So it felt like I was at a, I was at an actual music festival. Um, so by the time I got in, everybody was camping out in the parking lots. And um, what was different about this show is usually when you come into the Midway, you can't leave. Uh, you leave and you can't come back in, but they opened up the Midway. You could leave, you could come back, you could go out to your tent, you could come back. Wow. Um, so that added a really cool aspect to the venue um, and kind of people, there's no assigned seats. People were just chilling out in the seats. Um, and um, there were some opening acts um, and, I remember talking to one guy who was telling me about the personalities of each, each different artist. And he asked me to hold my camera. <laughs> and I, he was so nice. And I really wanted to just hand it over to him. But then I had a second guess like, Oh man, it's my baby. I can't let you hold it. But, no way. <laughs> um, yeah. But there was just these really friendly, friendly people. Um, and the, the parties were just happening out in the parking lots. And then people would come into the venue for the music. Um, so it was a really cool atmosphere. And, um, this was this was one shot from the from in front of the barricade with the uh, headliner, Pretty Lights. That's awesome. It's so cool. It's very unique. I mean, it's very unusual to have such a free flowing festival like that. You don't see that much these days. Yeah, yeah. And this is one of the shows where I I didn't want to shoot it, and I went, and it was yeah. It, this is four, exactly. four years ago. Yep. It was my uh, one of my favorite shows. So I've had. I mean, for sure. Technically, that happened to me with the Jason Aldean one too. I mean, right. you just don't know what to expect yeah hey awesome. drew i just wanted to jump in on this one real quick with you man mm -hmm. um from from a photographic standpoint because i know that you kind of uh, a fan of this area of it just your composition on this shot alone is incredible i mean you've got that bold uh red vertical light there which is kind of just making that separation in the image and every time you look at it, it just pulls you right to uh the dj there and his kind of elbow in his hand um, just, just the location and the framing of this shot is incredible. So yeah. nice job, man. Yeah. It almost looked Photoshop. Yeah. It was one of <laughs> it those. Really does. Yeah, it really does. It was really cool because we had, it wasn't just a barricade. It was, it was a barricade and then the barricade went out into the crowd, um, kind of vertically. So we had room to move back. Um, and I think it was because they had a videographer that was moving kind of in and out, um, kind of panning in and out. So, uh, it was really cool. And I, I remember uh, they actually let a fan into in front of the barrier and he had like freshly sliced fruit with with um, toothpicks in it, just handing it out to the crowd around the barricade. It was and this is the same crowd that actually picked up the trash at the end of the night. Uh, yep, it was, yep. If I'm not mistaken, Jill was with us that year. 
And she saw something very unexpected. This guy just ripped all his clothes off and was dancing <laughs> freely throughout the crowd. And she was freaking out. She's like, oh, my God. If I remember correctly, uh, Jill was the first one to pick that show. That was her yeah. first round pick. She picked that first round, and I was like, honey, that's going to be there at the end of the night. What are you doing? But she's like, oh, no, Steve, oh, this is going to be great. You watch. She was yeah, right. I think she talked us into it. And Marcy or somebody said something. It's like, it's incredible. You got to see it. So I Oh, yeah, no. She, she, Jill 100% talked me into that show. 100%. Oh, man. Nice. Yeah, so you, yeah, she you wanted that one to dropkick Murphy's. That's all she wanted. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have topics, shows, or questions you would like us to talk about, please email us at nhconcertphotogs at gmail.com. Again, that's nhconcertphotogs at gmail.com. And until next time, this has been Tales from the Pit. <laughs>